I think if people have the information that this is a, uh, an issue that is palatable enough for the majority of the Marshall to uh, support. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, let, let me introduce myself. My name is Jim Patrick. I, I uh, am a math teacher at Marshall High School. I have three children. Uh, two of them are old enough to attend public school. The other one's uh, only six years old. Uh, we're asking voters to approve a tax levy in April of 2016. It would be restored to the 2014 level of $3.12. This year, tax year for 2015, it, it dropped to $2.75. We're asking uh, voters to allow us to restore that to $3.12. This would only be for a period of, of 10 years. After that, it's not a uh, revenue that can be generated by this levy is used for these three specific things. Okay. Replace the current, the current heating and cooling systems in our old buildings with modern, efficient, effective <laughs> systems. Uh, replace and repair roofs at uh, all our buildings. And replace the trailers. We have a lot of trailers in the district. In fact, all the fifth grade at Beaver Middle School is in uh, trailers uh, without restrooms. And to me, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, <laughs> some of us live in newer houses, some of us live in older houses, and, and older houses are great, but we do have to spend money to keep them up, and, and the voters of the community have expressed a preference to keep the old buildings. We're just asking for money to keep those up. Okay, these are the main ideas of what I'm going to talk about today. Our financial situation now, future financial situation, the needs, how passing this levy would impact the district's finances, and then how the passing this levy would impact uh, us as taxpayers. Okay, this is just a very brief history of our tax rate. Uh, here's our loan bottom. I just went from 2011 to 2015. If you notice, the tax rate covered around $3.10 or thereabouts for four years that dropped last year, uh, 2015, due to the uh, addition of the Enbridge pipeline. And when revenue from sales as property increases, you have to roll back the levy, which is why I rolled back to 275. Uh, the last time the tax levy was approved in Marshall was 2003. Increased by 32 cents. Now that was, uh, they rolled, it. the election was to roll that 32 cents it was in debt service, okay, which is a different fund into the operating levy. Uh, and they used that to upgrade Beaver Middle School. And as a result, Beaver Middle School is now the most energy efficient uh, building in the district. Okay? Uh, much more energy efficient than the, the newer high school. Uh, also, the district currently pays $31,000 a year in rent for trailers. Okay? And uh, you know, by adding permanent structures to replace those rented trailers, we can save the district that much. We also owe $38,000 for rent for space in the for our early childhood program. Uh, okay, the 37 cent reduction in the tax levy from 2014 to 2015, it uh, reduced our revenue from local property taxes by $611,000. Our current tax rate is the lowest under which a district in Missouri has to operate, okay? Um, there are two regular public school districts that have lower levies. Uh, 70 school districts are at 275, which is the minimum. There's 516 dollars, or sorry, excuse me, 516 districts in Missouri. The average levy there is 361. Now, listen, that's not because people in Marshall are against education or not supporting kids or anything. It's just the, the, the district, and, you know, we haven't come up with a plan that's good enough to both address the needs and meet the needs of the taxpayers. I think it's time that, that the uh, school board and the administration has. Okay, if we restore the tax rate at $3.12, uh, we would be able to finance these upgrades. All of the revenue, I want to be clear on that, this is, there's no mystery about where this revenue would go. It would go to fund these upgrades. Okay, uh, we're going to pay for the initial phase of this project, project this summer out of reserves, okay, it's probably going to cost about a million dollars to upgrade two elevator buildings, and uh, you don't have to upgrade all of Peter Mill School. They, they have a very good system, it's just the controls that run the, the uh, air conditioning and heating that are going to be replaced. Uh, so we're paying for that out of reserves, and then if the levy passes, we'd be able to enter into a lease first agreement to fund the, re the remainder of the projects, the roofs, and the rest of the uh, HVAC systems, and the uh, replacement of 
the trailer is built. Okay, the district needs to go to some time, okay? Um, we have older buildings. We either need to replace them with newer buildings that don't require the repairs, or we need to repair the existing buildings. Uh, this plan uh, repairs the existing buildings and makes additions on current campuses. Okay, this isn't about building new buildings, you know, on Darren's property or anywhere else. This is all going to take place on our current campuses. Uh, the district has in the past offered multiple approaches to addressing the needs, uh, usually with new buildings, and, and that hasn't that, that plan is not something that the voters in Washington have, have wanted. So this is a kind of polar opposite of that plan. Uh, we just want to upgrade our current structure, prepare for long-term use. Okay, uh, for one thing, we still have like window unit air conditioning. A lot of our elementary schools which are very efficient that we replace those with modern systems. Uh, rented trailers, that, like I said, the beaker, uh, the whole fifth grade is in trailers right now. I don't think anybody ever would do that as a permanent solution. Uh, hopefully, we can, and, and I think the, the plan would be to move the fifth grade to a different elementary campus or campuses in permanent structures uh, with restrooms. Okay. Uh, replace the HAC units on it, that MHS, that's another plan, and of course the other buildings as well. Beaker doesn't have to have it's completely replaced, just the controls. Okay, the fiscal impact on the district. The first sentence will allow us to enter into these purchase agreements, totaling at least five thousand, sorry, five million two hundred thousand dollars. Um, that's the fair minimum. We, we could actually do better. That's if you finance the entire amount right at the beginning, which of course wouldn't happen. Uh, also, we'd be saving approximately $69,000 in rent, which we could use for um, either entering into a lease purchase or just paying for things as we go. Uh, the purchase agreement should be paid off in 10 years, then the levy sunsets. And then it, just to make clear again, I know this sounds redundant, but again, all of this revenue uh, that the district is asking for would just go to fund the listed project. How would this impact us as taxpayers? Okay, so in 2014, levy was 3.1275. Notice we're not even asking to go up quite that high. Uh, property taxes in, for a $100,000 house, somebody who owns a $100,000 home, would be 594 in 2014. It dropped to 522 this year, and it'd go back up to 592 in 2016. So again, if you got a $200,000 house, you just Double those figures to get a fifty thousand dollars a house out of that. Okay, uh, same slide or same chart here, but over there. So hundred thousand dollar house, thirty seven cents. You're gonna you have to pay an extra seventy dollars and thirty cents anyway. So that be. Uh, you know, I, I know that's. I mean, it, it's not that much, but I know budgets are tight. But you have afforded it in the past. In 2014, you paid that. Okay, so. Uh, we, you can, we can all do that. Uh, for a car, personal property tax, if you have a $10,000 car, um, an increase of about $12 annually. Notice in 2014 it was $104, it dropped to $91 this year, go back up to $104 if this levy passes. To summarize, uh, we were asking for 37 cents. Okay, go back to where we were in 2014. It would impact uh, property owner with a hundred thousand dollar house and a ten thousand dollar car. You're going to pay an extra eighty-two dollars and sixty-three cents. Uh, that's more than you did last year, but still less than you did in 2014. All the revenue is used to fund repairs, upgrades, and additions to our existing elementary campuses. It's something that's after ten, ten years, and as a result of this, uh, we would save sixty-nine thousand dollars a year in rent, as well as a lot of utilities. Thank you guys all for coming today and uh, we appreciate your support.